sincerely miss those heavy metal bands I used to go see on the landing in the summer She fell in love with the drummer She fell in love with the drummer She fell in love Shiny, shiny pants and bleached blonde hair Bearing the glass, as you'd expect, amber A nice um, kind of amber with loads of um, great clarity to the beer yeah, kind of like a brownish amber. The head, even from this little mini cask, it's poured a fantastic head. Very nice, creamy, cask-like head. I mean, what you'd expect to be pulled through a sparkler. Southern beer, you don't get a sparkler down there. So let's check out the aroma. I have had a slight preview of the aroma of this when I when I vented the top of the um, cask. It really kicked out a lovely kind of fresh hop aroma. So let's check it out in the glass. Oh, that's lovely. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, it's got a real kind of dryness. It's got a lot of kind of amber malt, definitely crystal malt, which is giving a, a quite a slightly burnt, sugary note. Mmm, lovely. But the hops are kind of, I've got a hint of kind of red currant in there. Definitely lots of quite dry grapefruit. Slight hint of, mmm, slightly. It's like a creamy note to it, weirdly. Um, fried onions. I'm thinking maybe something like um, Apollo or Summit. Or maybe some English hops, actually. Maybe some First Gold, maybe some Fuggles. It's got that kind of spiciness, what you get from something like cardamom. Mm, lovely. It reminds me of um, Brewdog's 5am Saint in a lot of ways. It's a combination of quite um, quite acidic um, hops with quite a, a, a big punchy pine character. That slightly yeah fried garlic, which is just turning a bit too brown. Mmm, lovely. That's a lovely smelling beer. I mean, it's a, it's a real kind of summery smelling beer as well. Lovely. So let's dive in. Cheers. Thanks, guys at Adnams. Mm. That is lovely. That is lovely. And after having the um, Clump Sagan from them, I'm, I'm seeing um, a, a shift towards a, a lot more bitter beers actually. Obviously, they've got their kind of their um, permanent kind of range of like Broadside and Bitter and, and um, all those kind of beers, Lighthouse and all that business. Well, this has definitely got a bit more about it. Initially, Quite wet, and I'm gonna get. Um, I'm getting quite a, once again a sugary caramel. Um, definitely hit, um, the skin of a red apple. Mmm, that was lovely. Nice, uh, maybe papaya, but then definitely it's got more of a um, prickly, spicy hop flavour. Which is coming along with maybe a bit of cinnamon. Um, a good amount of body as well for a beer which is only 3.4%. Or 3.8, sorry. Nice and clean. Great clarity to the to the just the flavour of the beer. And that bit in the stats coming eventually. Actually, no, I say eventually, it comes quite suddenly. <laughs> um, and it grows and it lingers. And for me, it's got, once again, it's a very pith, dry, pithy orange. Definitely a lot of grapefruit juice in there. Backed up with this hint of spice, which I'm going to say is cinnamon, stroke cardamom. And then this bigger, juicy grapefruit, dry, kind of straw-like character. Mm. Nice amount of sweetness to it as well. Beautifully balanced. 3.8% ABV. Wow, you can have a few of these, and do you know what? I'm going to. <laughs> I'm just, um, just going to start watching a film. A couple of, a couple of these while I'm watching. 3.8%, you're not going to have to worry about it that much either. So, that is... Oh, I'm getting a lovely late hop, dry hop character as I'm just sitting there. Mm, definitely reminds me in those the, those notes of 5am Saint from Brewdog and um, Rapture from Magic Rock. I mean, definitely with that 
big dry hop character, which you, you, you're primarily going to get from a draft beer opposed to a <coughs> excuse me a bottle beer most of the time. So, because this obviously this is this is is cast conditioned actually is this it's still totally just like um, settle. So I've got it relatively cool uh, in the fridge overnight and took it out first thing this morning like sit. So that is uh, eight pint mini cask of Adnams Fat Sprat Amber Beer, three point eight percent ABV. Get online, check out uh, Adnams. Definitely check out these new beers that are coming from from them because they're a lot more bitter than you what you might have had before from them. I think you can even buy uh, barrels of uh, mi these mini casts of this beer as well, as as well as a few more. Definitely worth doing. You've got I mean, if you've got a barbecue, maybe it's, the weather's not quite right at the moment. But yeah, get a barbecue, some friends over, boof, get that on the on the kitchen counter. You can't go wrong. Anyway, I'm Rob from Pobzine.com, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.